Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious Nan Cat Pop Tarts. Did I say it right? Nan. Nan Cat. First thing you're going to need to do is preheat the oven to 375. Take a medium sized saucepan and add a cupful of mixed berries and go ahead and smush them together and put the lid on. You're going to want these to simmer for about 5 to 6 minutes. Once they start looking like this, add a teaspoon of raw sugar to sweeten them up so they taste delicious and this will be our pop tart filling. Set it aside to cool and let's start on our pop tarts. You're going to need one cup of whole wheat flour and one cup of whole wheat pastry flour. These are two different flours, just listen to me, it makes it magical. Mix the two together in a bowl and add a pinch of salt. Mix that together and then add two thirds cup of cold vegan butter. You're going to want to cut the butter into the flour until it's all evenly throughout it and this is a very long process that requires a lot of muscles. So I had my brother David do it but you won't know that because of movie magic. It should look something like this after 5 hours of doing it. Now it's time to turn this into dough. You're going to have to add 3 to 5 tablespoons of cold water to this mixture to get it into a nice dough ball shape. But you may need more, you'll be able to tell by mixing the batter together. The end result should look something like this. Put flour on a flat surface and roll that dough. Now if you're like me and made this video and realized you do not have a rolling pin for some really strange reason, you can use a wine bottle covered in wax paper or parchment paper. They work pretty good. Now roll that bad boy out. It should be about a quarter of an inch thick or a little less than that. I don't know, just fill it out. Decide on how big you want your pop tarts to be. Now it's time to cut it out, and I found something that was the perfect shape, but it's not necessarily a cookie cutter. I used a cheese grater bottom. This made a perfect rectangle shape for the pop tarts. Look how good that looks. Make sure you flour the bottom of the cheese grater though, so that it doesn't get stuck inside of it. After you're done cutting out your pieces, lay them on a sheet of parchment paper and add a tablespoon of the filling to the very center. Then cover with another pop tart piece. Now it's time for the fun part. Seal down the edges using a fork and just go all the way around like this. Now it's nice and secure and no jelly is coming out of this pop tart. Before you place them in the oven, poke a few holes throughout the pop tart so it doesn't like explode or something. Then cover the tops with a little bit of vegan butter so they golden up nice and deliciously looking. And then place them in the oven for 25 minutes. Fresh out of the oven, they should look something like this. And now it's time for the icing, which is the best part of any Pop-Tart. There are a bazillion frosting recipes online and I can't really tell you what I did because it's so hit and miss. But I usually use about two to three cups of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, a half a tablespoon of butter, and then three to five tablespoons of almond milk. And then I mix it together until I get the right consistency. Sorry, I don't have a recipe for that. But you can also buy colored icing at the store. And voila, there you have it, Nan Cat Pop-Tarts. And oh my gosh, it's time for the taste test. Mmm. That was really good. Uh-oh. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Ah. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more cooking videos, check out the lightsaber pretzel sticks that we made and the white chocolate covered pokeballs. Delicious treats here every Wednesday on Strawberry 17. Districtlines.com slash Strawberry 17 has all of your t-shirt needs. So pick one up today so you can be looking and smelling fresh to death. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you know when I make new videos, which is every single weekday. See you guys later. Bye.